Hello everyone and welcome to Arts and Crafts for You. My name is Gina and today we're going to be doing this owl oven mitten. The pattern was based on my logo as my logo has an owl and uh, there will be a, a link on the description box for the pattern. So this is the pattern that you can don download and print for yourself. Uh, so it looks like this. So it's going to have all the pieces that you're going to need to make the, the oven mitten. Um, so I'm going to show you the basic instructions how to go through the pattern. So the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to cut your base. That's this one here, the bottom part. You're going to cut this off and you're going to put it over your fabric. You're going to put over your fabric after you actually cut this off on the line. I'm not even going to cut it all in camera because I already went ahead and cut uh, my, my fabric. You're going to put two pieces of fabric front and back of your choice, front and back, like back with back, sorry. Um, so you're going to pin it and you're going to cut two pieces of that. Then you're going to also use uh, two pieces of cotton batting and also uh, two pieces of insole bright or uh, insole fleecy, something that will protect you from heat. Normally it looks, it's very similar, let me show you a piece, what does it look like so you guys know what it looks like. So I already have most of my pieces cut to speed up the video a little bit. So, um, so it looks kind of like this. It reflects the heat and protects you from uh, burning yourself. So for this part here, we're going to cut two pieces, a front and, a ba a front and back. And we're going to cut two pieces, or one piece of insole bright and one piece of 100% uh, cotton batting just to make it slightly thicker. Okay, so I'm going to put these, these uh, four pieces to the side. Then the pattern also has this part here. That's the top here of my oven mitten. So, and this one you're actually going to cut it out also, and you're also going to be cutting two pieces for top and bottom, so the top and the bottom, one piece of insole bright, and one piece of uh, cotton batting. We're also going to put these to the side. Okay. Then if you see here, there's all the other little pieces that's going to form the owl face and also the little head on this part here. So in this case here, this one here that you see that has the little ears, you're actually not going to cut it. You're going to get some um, fusible web and you're going to be tracing that part on your fusible web with the sticky side to the bottom and then you're just going to go around and trace the whole thing uh, whatever fabric you decide to do I did mine in yellow you know after you've done that so you also on the fusible web sorry mm, you're gonna trace the two wings you're gonna trace the the feet the eyes, the nose, and the little bow. Okay, after you trace that all in the fusible web, I'm just going to show you how after you trace everything. I already went ahead and did trace all mine and cut all my pieces, but I'm just going to show you one, how normally it works, so you can understand how to do it. So I have here, this was my fusible web, so I went here, I traced the feet here. So I went here, I trace the little foot on with the sticky side down. Then I cut it into a square and then I iron into my fabric. Okay. Um, I tried to leave a little bit extra of uh, fabric around. So now I would get my scissors 
and I would cut this around just on the line that's one and I'm going to do the other one here so I have my two feet so to take the paper out because this fusible is paper backing so we need to remove the the paper back to attach to our fabric so what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna rip a little piece with a pin in the middle and I'm going to take this from the inside out peel it that way you really don't want to peel it, like try to peel it from the edge because if you do that your fabric will fray so try to go from the middle out so you have less fraying of your fabric so you take it out okay so I have my two feet and as I mentioned I had already cut all my other pieces and got them ready ahead of time so the video wouldn't be so long so I have my feet my two eyes my nose let's see let's see my other my eye the middle of the eye and my other and the two wings so this is all the pieces that I've done for the owl so to put it together and also the yellow part here that I had already fused to my front fabric so I had traced this one I've done it and you have to fuse it to this okay so now what I'm gonna do is so I need to placement I need to make sure that my placement is right I think the best way to do your placement I'm gonna show you a little trick so there's this paper here this one here that has the owl and that's how it should look like so as you see that's what should look like so of course it's hard that sometimes if you put this on top of your fabric it will be kind of hard to see where you're gonna put it so if you put it on top and then you try to so it's a little bit harder so if you have tracing paper see-through tracing paper the best way is trace that into tracing paper okay as I did here and now to place all my pieces what I do I go here and you see now I can see exactly where my pieces should be so I can actually go here I'm gonna lift put my eye there actually the nose first and then the eye the other eye Then of course my block the middle of the eye. Okay, you see that? And of course that would be also the yellow part that you've traced for this top here okay also the bow so I'm not gonna do the rest so then you take this to the iron as it is and you're just gonna press it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back 
so I fused all my pieces so this part here the yellow one that has the little ears the little bow the eyes the nose it's all fused down so now what you have to do you have to go to your sewing machine and do either a blanket stitch or a zigzag or even just a plain stitch whatever just to secure it down better and uh, so now we're gonna do the same thing to the wings and the feet so you're gonna grab one of your uh, other parts the body so you're gonna get it that so and then again you can use this also again so you can see where you need to put those wings so you get your your wings and as you see there's a right side and the left side so it will be a little bit easier for you to place them okay so you know exactly so we're gonna lift that Put it over here with it and get the other one lift and put it there do the same with the feet okay so you're gonna go ahead fuse them down and as I mentioned on this one, you're also going to be sewing them down around this edge only, the outside edge only. You don't need to sew here or here because we're going to be putting the back and the fusible fleece, the diffusible, sorry, not the fusible, the, the batting and the insole bright. So we're going to still do a, you know, put it, all the pieces together. So that part here, you don't need to sew it just literally just the outside lines. Okay. So I'm going to be do that and I'll be right back. Okay. So I went ahead and I did all my, uh, applique stitch. So you can pick whatever stitch you want to do. You can do zigzag you know uh, blanket stitch just a straight line whatever you decide you're more comfortable with um, what I didn't mention is when you're doing decoration uh, decorating stitches around your any project that you're doing applique it's always good to um, stabilize your fabric with uh, I would say a tear away uh, because then your stitching will be more evenly right through because you have to think you're going through different layers of fabric and some areas are thicker than others because they've been fused several times because in this case here if you see here my eyes is on top already two fabrics and here on the bow if you see the little bow I'm um, I'm on on this one here. I'm only a top, I'm only on top of the blue, but here it's I'm on top of the blue and the yellow at the same time. So it's good to stabilize your fabric so you have a better project, finished project. So now we're going to put it together. So so this is my front. So I'm going to get my back. And of course I need my insole bright and my uh, batting 100% cotton batting so I'm gonna put these two together like that then I'm gonna get my back my front on top of it okay and then I'm gonna go my back facing my front and I'm gonna put it on top of that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna sew it all the way around I'm going to even this out, put a couple pins, put a couple pins here, and I'm just going to really sew here on the face, okay? I'm going to do it right now and I'll show you. See, this is what I did. I just sewed here a little bit. Here, I don't need to sew around here because I'm going to sew that down when I put the, uh, the, the back and front together. So what I'm going to go, what I'm going to do, however, I'm going to go here and I'm going to trim off all this extra fusible uh, fusible sorry I keep saying fusible um, you know the batting and the insole bright I'm just gonna trim it a little bit off so just to eliminate all that bulk so I'll trim down so now what you're going to do is you're going to turn it to this side 
you're going to fix this little part here and then you're going to go to the sewing machine and you're going to do a top stitch here like this so you're going to top stitch this part here just to stay down okay so I did my top stitch here now I'm going to put this together so I'm going to get my front put it like this so you can see better I put this on top okay so this is how I want this to look then I'm gonna my back on top and then my my uh, batting and my insole bright in here so now I'm gonna Pin all these together, I'm going to sew all the way around and leave here, maybe in the bottom here, a little opening to flip it inside out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go do that and we'll be right back. So I sewed mine all the way around, I left an opening here in the bottom. What I'm going to do, I'm going to again, just trim off a little bit of the batting and the insole bright all the way around, just to make it less bulk around those edges. Plaza will look a lot better when you turn it off. Okay, I think mine is not too bad. So what I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna you know that the hole is quite small, so it can be a little tricky flipping this out, but there we go. Let's see. My finger in. Adjusting it, fixing all those curves. Okay, so you're going to take that to the iron it, iron it flat, and fold your little area here in. Okay, you're going to fold all that little edge in and you're going to go and do, after you fold all that in, you're going to do a top stitch here on the outside. All right. Uh, I'm not going to do it now so, so, this, so I don't make the video very long. So I already have one here that I did. Um, so what I did is I top stitch it here to close my opening. And then I just wanted a little bit more decoration on it. So I drew a little heart here and do that. I saw a little bit around the feet and around the wings and I left it that way. I would like to thank everyone who recently subscribed to our channel as we just hit 13,000 subscribers. And to those who haven't subscribed, subscribe for a new video every Saturday. Happy sewing everyone. Mm -hmm.